Right. I'll just run through a, for no particular reason, but we'll get down to the one with using the word I want, I'm after again. Um, but I'll just read a couple of comments. Um, like bumps on a, an, an irregular surface, each bump is unique, but all connected on the surface. Um, I'm reading on my discuss thing. So if I've got to, <laughs> if I want to make sure what that's an answer to, I've got to go over to the website and read the comment thread. Um, so what it reminded me of anyway, it was one of the descriptions of what life is, which is a sea and each thing, whatever it might be, is just a wave on the sea that comes up and goes down or connected. It's not really a wave, it's just part of the sea. Um, right, let's just go down a few. No, they are made up of concepts. There is no time in the universe, just changes of condition in space, hence why it's called space-time. And uh, astronauts going to... No, one stays on Earth and one goes to a distant galaxy and comes back and is younger at things. Um, where's the one I wanted to get to? It's a ducky one. Where's a ducky one? Um, oh, it's a long way down. We had a few comments yesterday, didn't we? Oh, well, if I'm not going to get to it, it doesn't matter. Um, the word I'm after is understanding. And I was only going to use it because that's the, the word understanding is used there. That um, saying that mystic doesn't understand or didn't understand what meditation was. And um, the implication that Ducky did. Understanding again. I think it's worth... Um, Is it in the bottom of that one? It doesn't matter anyway. <clears throat> Understanding. What is it to, to understand? This is kind of a repeat of the last video. But it takes a, quite a lot to get in, to get a you, to think what understanding actually is. We can have meditation. When you say that you understand what meditation is, what are you saying? What is meditation? Let's say it was invented a thousand years ago by one person or a committee of, you know, a group, a village or something, and it took off and became a thing, and things need names, so got the name meditation. Um, it's changed in the last thousand years, but you learnt about it yesterday. How do you learn about something? Somebody tells you what it is. And what is it to understand what it is? It's to be able to regurgitate what the other person told you. Be it physically in a meditation mull, or... Uh, seeing a YouTube video or you've done a course on it or saw a, um, a documentary on it on the television, whatever it might be. As long as you can regurgitate the right words to convince somebody else that you understand it, then you get the award of understanding of meditation. But what does the understanding mean? It means you can regurgitate re-spit out, parrot what somebody else has told you. Now you can you can put in, well, I actually physically do it. So what? You <laughs> see so what I mean? Um, what are other, other examples might be? Um, what caused the First World War? Do you understand what caused the First World War? You might know the name of the person that shot somebody that caused something that caused... Is that the cause of the First World War? Well, yes, if it's answering a quick 
pub quiz question, one of those little f- facts might be enough to say in the pub that you have enough understanding of what caused the First World War to get the tick on the quiz sheet. That would be enough to understand what caused the First World War. It's You've got to parrot two names, three names, Archduke, Austria, Princeps. That's all you've got to do. That shows you understand. You see what I mean? By understanding. Um, how to cook a carbonara. Do you understand how to cook a carbonara? Do you understand the capital of Australia? Do you understand how to calculate the area of a circle? Or a triangle or something? If you can remember the... Let's, let's say it's 2 pi r. I remember that's something. Say that is the answer to whatever I say. If you can remember 2 pi r from school, does that mean you understand how to calculate the area of a circle? If somebody has been using 2 pi r for their work for the last 20 years to calculate whatever it calculates, the area of a circle, does that mean they understand it better than you? Because you just remembered it from school and they've been using it for the last 20 years. What does to understand something mean? All it means is that you can parrot an answer. You can Somebody's put an input in here and you can parrot it out and it's accepted by somebody else as the valid output for what understanding whatever it is is. Does that mean that you understand it? How can I do understanding again? There's no understanding of anything. Not even on the non-duality side. I'm talking in the normal, everyday, you and me, normal people that go to the shops and go to the pub and go to work and watch television, sort of stuff. You don't understand anything. You can parrot what somebody has told you or what you've seen on a documentary on the television to a, enough of a standard that somebody will be impressed and say, you understand that. Or if it's carbonara, you can make a carbonara, present it to somebody as a carbonara, and they won't say, that's a cheese toasty, you stupid bastard. Oh, wonderful carbonara. Best I've had all week. Understanding, right? Great, yeah. What does to understand really mean? Think about it. All the things we're saying, I'm talking, we're writing in comments, we're enjoying ourselves. But are we understanding anything? Or are we just regurgitating or re re regurgitating what we've heard from somebody else? What does to understand actually mean? See you in comments. Bye.